Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I know it's been a long time. Anyways, before talking about my health, what's going on with me, I will leave that for another video. Let's jump into today's video without wasting any more time and talk about iPhone XR on the iOS 18. I know next month WWDC is coming up and iOS 18 will be coming up next month. I am really, really excited and looking forward to it. And I know you guys are as well. So hit that subscribe button and turn on notification if you are new here because I keep on making these type of amazing content related to iOS and a lot of iPhone XR content will be coming up for you guys. So let's get right into today's video without wasting any more time. My name is Jay and you are watching Tech Hyped. Let's get right into today's video. So Apple will be announcing iOS 18 beta 1. It will be rolling out to developers really really soon if i talk about days from the day i'm recording this video 13 days to be exact which means less than 15 days or we are less than half a month away from the release of ios 18 what does it mean it means that it is time to get ready and buckle up because we are gonna have a lot and by a lot i mean a lot of freaking changes and customization options coming up on ios 18 i will be coming up with my wish list of what all features i expect apple to give iphone 10r and what all features will not probably arrive to the iphone 10r and the number one topic of the day is that will iphone 10r even get ios 18 or not all right drum rolls please so you might have heard that it is 50 50 or there is some chances that apple may drop iphone 10r and not give it the ios 18 version but according to me and according to this is not coming from any official sources by the way fingers crossed this is all prediction and my analysis that i have had and experience in the past couple of years that i have been using iphones and have used beta firmwares of ios apple typically gives their smartphones five to six years of updates at least an a12 ionic chip is really really powerful chip and what i expect apple is that this year it is probably going to be the final year for update ios 18 will be coming up to the iphone 10s and the 10r i am 70% sure because it will bionic is on the iphone 10s as well and iphone 10s is definitely going to come with this update and why i am so sure about it because s iphones the s variants those are special for apple if we just roll over and just travel back in the time we have seen that iphone 5s get a long support then we have seen the iphone 6s that is the prime device which have had the longest supported iOS firmwares. According to me, iPhone XS is definitely going to have this iOS 18 update. And if iPhone XS will have this update, iPhone XR was released the same time and it had the same chipset as well. So I am pretty sure that iPhone XR is going to have the iOS 18 version the first day. But still, it is not official yet. So please... Don't take my words, but trust me because I have a really good gut feeling that we are going to have iOS 18 on the iPhone XR. Now, let's talk about the features. We have already heard that iOS 18 is going to come with a lot of AI features. What does AI require? A really strong processor. And now, here is where the things started to get a bit irritating. Why? Because if iPhone XR is going to get this iOS 18 firmware, which I think it will, fingers crossed again, I think that Apple will limit a lot of AI features for this device. We are not going to have definitely not all of the AI features, but 30% to 40% of the AI features that we are going to have on the latest devices like the iPhone 13, 14, 15. These devices are definitely going to have a lot of updates, 80 to 90%. And iPhone 14 series, probably 100% because iPhone 15 is definitely going to get all the new features. 
and iPhone 15 has the same chipset as the 14 Pro. But today's topic is not that, the topic is iPhone 10R. So getting back to the topic, iOS 18 will just not be the same for the iPhone 10R, even if it comes on the iPhone 10R, it's just not gonna be the same. That is a bad news, I know, but at the same time, that is a good news as well, because if Apple would have given it all the new features, it will make the device more overheat and it will just give the device a really bad battery experience for you guys so it is probably something that they are doing good because having all those features will just put load on the processor and your experience of using your phone will be getting worse let me know down in comments below do you think apple will give all the ai features to all of the devices or they are probably gonna limit most of the features and gonna give the all of the prime features to the 14 and the 15 series but to be honest iphone 10r is probably my favorite device that i have owned because iphone 10r it is the best it is the best in terms of battery life for me it has been the best iphone in terms of battery life it has a really good display yes not a lot of people talk about the display of iphone 10r because on paper it is really shitty but trust me for an lcd panel that too with such a low numbers on paper it is an amazing panel definitely not the best to look at outdoors but I have used it indoors, I do use it indoors often and uh, it is an amazing device. In terms of performance as well, I have never had any major issue or hiccups with my iPhone 10R. Even I have had hiccups and issues with my iPhone 11 more often than the iPhone 10R. Let me know down in comments below, do you still own an iPhone 10R? You probably do if you are watching this video and if you are watching this video on an iPhone 10R, do let me know what is your battery health percentage and are you planning on to updating your device the first day on a beta version on your iPhone XR. Here is a quick advice. If you have an iPhone XR and you are planning on to updating your device to the iOS 18 firmware, make sure the iPhone XR is backed up and I would just suggest to not update it at all. But if you are updating, make sure to use a primary phone on a normal iOS version and then make your iPhone XR a secondary phone. I am gonna update my iPhone XR to the iOS 18 version and make a lot of videos for you guys. I will do a gaming test, a battery test, and a lot of videos on the iPhone XR on iOS 16 will be coming up on this channel. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. This is me, Jay, aka Tech Hyped, and I am signing off. That is it for today's video. I will catch you guys in the very next episode. Do let me know down in comments below what is your wish list for iOS 18. What all new features and changes are you excited about or do you want Apple to give on the iOS 18? Peace out and have a great day everyone.